Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. We're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to create a line graph in Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to be creating two different types, a simple line graph that will show you a trend over time, or if you want to do something more scientific and comparing in a relationship uh, between different items, I'm going to show you a scatter graph. Uh, both are very simple to do once you have the data and you can format them very easily. At the end, I'm going to show you how to take those graphs and put them into something like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Let's get started today. So my first example, I have some uh, data that is from Amazon for the last 10 years, their annual sales revenue, and I'm going to use a line graph to graph it to show that trend. So to do this, what I'm going to do is just highlight. So I'm going to click in year and drag down to the bottom. So I'm highlighting both those columns. And then I want to make sure I go up to insert here. And then check for uh, if we have recommended charts or we can hover over here. For this first example, I'm just going to click on recommended charts because I like kind of when they kind of show you can check right away through here the recommended. I could go to all charts to see uh, more to go if I knew something specific. But this I can get an idea right away what I would like. So in this case, I'm just going to go with this first one right up here and go ahead and hit OK. And you can see I'm now I can move this too. So if I just click this, I can drag this up. I can make it a little larger by grabbing the corner here too. Now this automatically created this chart for this information that I selected here before. So I, if I change something in here, so if I change this number, you can see it will automatically reflect in there. I'm just going to go back a spot here. And now I can customize this, so customize this graph uh, to the way I want it to look. So first of all, maybe I want to click in here and I can put uh, Amazon, I'll just put it, uh, annual sales revenue here so and then I have my title here and let's say I wanted to put uh, on the side here my uh, some more information maybe in billions if I go up here and click you can see I have a plus here so I can add chart elements and I want maybe the axis on for those ones so I can click on it you can see how it labels over here now I can go back to this and I can write in what I want so maybe this is I'll just write in billions here like so and at the bottom I just want to recognize that these are years on this one so I'll click in here and I'll just put years and then I have kind of the chart set up the way I want. You can quickly, when you click on the chart too, you can change uh, the look. So if I was going to click on a few different ones, you can see they have these uh, pre-formatted. I can just quickly change on these here. So if I wanted to look like this with a little bit of shadows, uh, but maybe I didn't want these uh, numbers being written up top. I could go through and start to uh, format these too. So I could go back up to here and I could go through and click off and then I could customize, keep some of the effects, but then customize it myself too here. So you could go through, if you wanted a legend on, you could click on it there or click off. So you can go through and get what you want there. Uh, the other thing to note, you can customize the color through here too. So I could go through and pick my styles just like I did before. I'm just gonna keep it where I had it. And you can also go through and customize things even more through here. So if I click on the line here, you notice on the right hand side over here, I get uh, different options so if I wanted a different color I could pick through here you can see how the line turns red I could add a different thickness to it and I can go through and just select different parts of it uh, you can see how I can add shadows and pick uh, the different series options on it but you can go through and customize this the way you want so that's for your basic line graph here that you can create very quickly in Excel now let's go over to a more the scientific approach with comparing a few different items uh, in the next graph so in this example I have some seedlings over 20 days just measuring their growth and there's three different ones so I'm going to be comparing it between the different ones so I'm not going to be using the uh, the line graph like I did last time I'm going to be using a scatter graph I'm going to highlight everything like I did before so I just grab everything with my headings and this time what I'm going to do so I go up to my insert like I showed you before I'm going to actually just go over the type of charts and I want to insert the scatter XY so if I click on this you can see the drop down 
Now at this point, if I hover over different ones, I get an instant preview of the graph below. So in this case, I want to use the scatter with smooth lines and markers. I go ahead and click on this one. So now I can drag it if I want it in a different place and I can stretch it out to make this larger and I can go through and make my customizations again. So if I wanted uh, the chart title here uh, to be uh, what we have here, the heights of a tree seedlings like so and I can add my uh, Y and X axis again so if I go ahead and click the axis titles so I can add this could be uh, I just want to put in centimeters so I'll just put CM here and this is my uh, over here we have in days here so I can go ahead and label this one uh, through here I'll just highlight this and put days like so and like I showed you in the last one, the design is a quick way to adjust it. So if I wanted to say in this one, I could put uh, the headings at the top or we could use the bottom. I'm just going to go with this one. I like the look of this one. And I could go through and customize the different line colors like I showed by using the format chart area. But I just wanted to also show you how to add a trend line uh, to any of the. So if I wanted to pick one of the seedlings and add the trend line to it with a formula, what I could do is if I click on, we'll click on the this top one here and you can right click on this one you can see add trend line there's a couple different ways you can add the trend line but this is how I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna select the one that I want and add my trend line and you can see right away it put this uh, the gray so this one's pretty easy to see the dotted line um, over here I'm gonna make sure that this is uh, with linear here I can go through I'm gonna go first and actually display the equation on the chart so if you're, you're putting all this scientific uh, data in you can go ahead and click it and you can see how it's right on the chart uh, if you couldn't see maybe the dotted line you could go back and start to uh, change it so if you need it a little thicker you can see how I, as I adjust the width it's a little thicker uh, maybe you wanted to change the color of it so if I change this to white uh, you can kind of bring out different things in this so let's say if you're done you had this graph a different thing you could do if you wanted on to put it onto a different Excel page what I can do is if you right click on this one you can see that there's a move chart here so I could go ahead and move chart I could just uh, put the object in I can go on a new sheet hit OK and it created a new sheet uh, with the chart as large I can still make the adjustments another thing that you can do if I go back to any of these here so if I go back to my um, I'm just gonna go back here to my chart here I can take these from here and copy it two different things like Microsoft Word. So maybe you needed this in a research report. You could copy this uh, from here and you could go over to Microsoft Word and uh, here's a document that I have open and I could just paste it in. Now you have a few different options. I can paste uh, just like uh, how I have selected here, but as you pick different ones, you can see if I wanted to link the data. So what that means, if I go ahead and link it, now if I go back to my Excel over here, if I change any of the data, so if I go and I'm just going to make it where it's quite noticeable on this last one, we'll go five and you'll be able to see how this, uh, this chart here uh, drops off like this. But when you have it linked, if I go back over to my Microsoft Word, it's linked there. So it can update if you need to make some changes. You don't have to worry about copying and pasting it over that way too. You can also copy paste this if you have PowerPoint open. Um, if you need it in a slide for a presentation, you can do the exact same thing and put it on there. So I hope you like this tutorial today of just using line graphs and scatter graphs to create your simple trend lines or maybe if you want to use it on a scientific approach, let me know what other type of graphs you want to use in Excel and some other Excel things. Thanks for watching this week. I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech.